So yesterday while I was doing my live stream, one of my subscribers brought to my attention that the user Smosh, who has 11 million subscriptions here on YouTube and gets millions of views per video, that the user Smosh made a video on their channel attempting to ask for money, specifically $250,000, in which they will use that money towards a iPhone game that they're trying to design for their past videos that they've made, where you play as the characters Ian and um, Anthony. I normally don't interject myself into things like this, but I see a problem and I'm going to address it. Uh, the first problem being is that it does not take $250,000 to design an application, little side-scroller game for an iPhone. In fact, as someone who has a somewhat knowledge of programming and tried to learn programming himself, to design an iPhone game or an Android app, really basic game, a uh, little side-scroller, it costs roughly between $5,000 and $15,000. Anthony, Ian, Smosh, you're attempting to raise $250,000. Now, in your video, you state several things. You state that you need to pay the, the artists and the programmers the money to program the game. Granted, I understand that. However, again, an iPhone game, no matter how advanced you're going to make it, does not cost $250,000 to make. It also kind of insults people who actually know how to do programming and who have made their own little applications. Look at the creators who have made games like Fruit Ninja, which has made millions and millions of dollars, or Draw Something, which has made millions and millions of dollars, or the one of the greatest examples known as Angry Birds, a very simplistic yet simple game that has made millions and millions of dollars off a simple concept that someone created. Um, and they didn't spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to create that game. You can find out actually the actual budget, how much money was spent to make Angry Birds, and it's nothing near close to $250,000. Something that I would also like to mention is that in the description of your video, Smosh, Ian and Anthony, that in your video you claim that a small percentage of the charity that is raised is going to go towards charity. This is a problem. Not the fact that you're donating to charity, but the fact is, is that in your actual video, you mention nothing about charity. In fact, your whole video, which I watched three minutes and almost four minutes in total, you talk about needing $250,000 and that you're asking people to donate you money for this iPhone application, which personally I think sounds stupid based on the concept of running around with food, but I digress, that's not the point. The point is, if you really tr cared about charity, like you so-called claim, why didn't you actually bring up charity in the video itself? Rather, at the bottom of the description of the video, you have a little disclaimer saying, oh, now we're going to donate a small percentage to charity. And if you do that, that's awesome. However, I highly doubt that you will donate money to charity because I have always found your channel to be um, money-grubbing or, or always wanting money, 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 money. In fact, sad is that um, you make more money with your 11 million subscribers and off ad revenue and off all of your shirts and merchandise. You guys have your own shirt store. You guys make thousand. You guys make well over $500,000 a year off your channel. In fact, it's a lot more than that. You make more money than my dad could ever make working at Boeing for 30 years. And that, that to me, is just shocking um, that you're ask actually asking for your subscribers to give you money for an iPhone game. You're... It just, it shocks me when it doesn't even equate to that much that you wanting to raise. And a thing I should mention, if you do donate charity, uh, like you are claiming, I recommend you do this. Um, here is PewDiePie's charity water campaign. He is uh, doing a water campaign, and it's all the way up to September 30th. Um, this user, PewDiePie on YouTube, has 10 million subscribers, and for hitting 10 million subscribers, he did a donation for a clean water campaign, and all the money... All of the money, keyword being there, he's raised $161,793, and the goal is $250,000. He is going to meet his goal of raising $250,000. $250,000 is a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money. And the fact that PewDiePie, a guy who just hit over 10 million subscribers, who I don't even watch his videos, but I can, I can respect him for this, because he's giving... $250,000 to, 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 for organized clean water, and here's your channel, 
a channel that makes sketch comedies or whatever, begging for $250,000 for an iPhone game. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this Ian and Anthony Smosh are the same people that created the iPhone game called Shut Up. Yes, they created an iPhone game called Shut Up. And all you would do is you'd install the application, and when you'd say it a voice activation on your phone, the app would tell you to shut up. I am not joking. Uh, Smosh, Anthony, Ian, uh, you made a Shut Up app. Um, you guys are not talented within creating actual programmed applications. Uh, the whole Shut Up app is not creative, it's not innovative, it's stupid. I mean, why would you want to have an application on your phone that when you say, say something it tells you to shut up is beyond me? And they made money off of that, I they made money off of that application. Lots of money. What it ultimately boils down to is this, is that, um, I believe they're wrong for asking $250,000, um, for an iPhone game. It's despicable. Um that you're following um, as large as you are on YouTube and how much money you make that you can't fund this by yourself. You can't go pay people, but rather you beg for people to give you $250,000 for an iPhone game in which you're only going to be donating a small percentage of the charity in which I don't think you actually will be. But, you know, that's speculation. I'm assuming there. I shouldn't assume. Um, but really, if you really cared about charity, why didn't you mention that in your actual video? rather than put it at the bottom of the description of your video is beyond me. But ultimately, it boils down to, um, that's one of the reasons I don't watch larger YouTubers like so, is because, um, like Smosh, their channel is based upon money. Uh, they, ha they make hundreds and thousands of dollars off, m not just hundreds, they make... I can't pinpoint exactly how much they make, but it's, it's more than we could ever fathom. I mean, Ray William Johnson, for example, supposedly makes is the first YouTuber who makes over a million a year, and they get about the same, roughly about the same amount of views and, and subscriptions as Ray William Johnson almost, and that's a lot of money to be making. And then just to ask your audience to give you money for an iPhone app is just dis despicable, in my opinion. I do not like people who beg for money or ask for money for stupid causes like this. Um, so my suggestion, Smosh... Donate your charity money to uh, PewDiePie's uh, donation for clean water. I think that would be really cool because uh, PewDiePie is already at $161,000, and I want to see PewDiePie raise $250,000, which he's going to raise. I've already donated money to PewDiePie, and I suggest that if anybody's interested in actually donating money for a good charity that is going for a worthwhile cause and not a scam... Um, donate to PewDiePie's fundraiser. It's linked down below. Thank you guys for watching, and that is my thoughts on, since people have been asking me, my thoughts on Smosh asking for $250,000 for a iPhone application. My name is Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Soulsbach. Thank you guys for watching, and peace the rep out.